If you like working in Photoshop, then you're definitely going to love this video. We're going to do custom paint brushes in uh, Photoshop and that will allow you to create all sorts of cool things. Okay, so check it out. Hey everybody, well, it's time to have some Easter fun, okay? So I found this uh, fella online, I just uh, Googled it. I Googled uh, chicken uh, PNG, which will typically give you an image with a transparent background. And you can see that by these uh, gray and white checkers. And I made sure that it was labeled, uh, you know, free for reuse. So I'm not infringing anyone's copyright. I'll put a link to this image below. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, chicken and we're gonna turn it into a paintbrush so we can use that any way we like, okay? So I got this layer right here. I'm going to go up to edit and I'm just going to go to define brush preset. Now I need to give this a name. So uh, let's see, we'll just call it uh, crazy chicken. And it's labeled as brush number 300. You can see that right here. So hit OK. And as soon as we do that, you see that the size and the shape of our brush has changed and it now looks like a chicken. OK. So let's use this brush on a new uh, image. I'm going to jump over to this one right here. It's just a blank canvas. And what we can do here is we can basically do anything we can do with a regular brush. Okay. So I'm going to go into my color swatch here. I'm going to bring that down to, let's say black, like so. I can right click and change the size of my brush. So I can make it very, very small, or I can bump that way up. So it's a very large. Let's uh, be slightly more moderate with that. I can do a hard brush, soft brush, and so forth, tweaking the hardness, okay? So let's make this slightly bigger. And, and there we go. So basically, I can just create some sort of wallpaper, right? Now, these are manually placed. I can also place one here and then shift, hold shift, and place it like so. And you'll get kind of the running chicken effect. The thing is, they're too close together, okay? So what if I want to create a straight band of chickens that doesn't look like that, okay? I'm gonna just go back one step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Window. I'm gonna go to my Brush menu. And down here under Spacing, I'm gonna move that slider to the right. And as I do that, you see that the space between the individual chickens becomes bigger. Let's say something like this. And then what I can do is get this out of the way. I'll click once right here. I'll hold my shift key and click right here. And you see that you get a nice straight row of chickens. Now I can change the color on this, obviously. I can move that, for example, to let's say yellow. And there you have it. I can turn this to something that is red and so forth, okay? So that's basically all there's to it. You can pretty much use anything you want for this. For the most part, it's easier if it looks okay when it's in one color. And I think this one does. So uh, that's all there's to it. So uh, have fun with that. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.